Because of how difficult the game is, most players will focus on one or two guns or loadouts to try to maximize their efficiency. Then, the more time you have spent on one loadout, the harder it feels to try to switch back to something you're not comfortable with. Because of that, players are losing in flexibility and overall knowledge of the other weapons in the final. Today, I've built for you a quick video with one key tip for every single weapon and gadget in the game to try to give you insights as to what you can expect on a higher level for any weapon you could see yourself playing. Don't blink, because we're going to go fast, and every tip could be critical to your success in the game. Enjoy the video! Gateway Grenade Gateway grenades can teleport players, but also objects, and keep their momentum. Use this to safely bring vaults to cash outs instantly. Flamethrower Contrary to what people could think, the flamethrower, like all other weapons in the final, cannot hit more than one player at once. F-car the F-car is the only gun in the game with a holographic sight, making it the only weapon with a red dot aim in the center of the screen when aiming. R357 The 357 is the only gun in the game that doesn't have any recoil. You can shoot at any distance and as fast as you want without losing accuracy. AKM if you hit every shot in the head, you can kill up to 4 medium class, or 1 light, 2 medium, and 1 heavy in a single mag. Model 1887 You can increase the damage output at 15 meters and above for the Model 1887 by jumping while you aim down sights. SH-1900 you can cancel the reloading animation to decrease the reload time by 30% by switching guns right after the shells were inserted in the gun. Motion Sensor Place your motion sensor on the floor above or below the one you're trying to cover to avoid enemies seeing or destroying them. Dagger. If you hit a player with a right-click stab in the back, you will do a 340 damage hit, putting a heavy down to 10 HP in one single hit. Frag Grenade. A frag grenade takes exactly 3 seconds to explode from the moment you press the trigger button. This can be extended indefinitely by holding the action button down. CL40. This gun is completely nullified by the APS turret. Anti-Gravity Cube Instead of focusing on the gravity aspect of the gadget, use it to trap your enemies in a slow-down debuff area. Jump Pad The jump pad can boost players, but also objects. Tilt them to reach unreachable places faster. Sword if you press the evasive dash just as you release the charge blow of the sword, you add the sword damage to the entirety of your dash, making it twice more effective. APS turret. The protection of the APS turret goes through walls, floors, and ceilings. Use this wisely to avoid having your turret destroyed. Goo grenade. You can use the goo grenades to create alternative path or safe areas. Falling off a building, for example. Gas Mine Getting hit by two gas mines doesn't increase the damage output per second. Flashbang Beyond 10 meters, the flashbang effect will lose most of its efficiency. Tracking Dart For some weird reason, tracking darts will go through the heads of heavy classes. This is only true on the heavy class. Tracking them down. FAMAS To increase damage output above the 10 meter mark, aim at the middle part of the neck rather than the head. The gun recoil will no longer be an issue.
data reshaper. Only objects that can be carried can be modified and reshaped. Zipline. The maximum distance for the zipline is 40 meters, except on moving platforms. M60. If you hit all your shots in the head, you can kill 8 and 3 quarters medium classes, 6.5 heavies, and 14 light classes with a single mag. Thermal Imaging. Thermal Imaging is the only charged gadget in the game that can be active while activating another gadget. Sledgehammer. You can avoid slowing down while charging a heavy attack on the sledgehammer by sliding right after pressing your action button. Riot Shield. The riot shield can parry a portion of explosive splash damage by protecting yourself at the right moment. Dome Shield. While defending a cash out, throw your dome shield on the cash out while it is under attack. Enemies inside it will see their shots blocked in the bubble while you will still be able to shoot at them, changing the gadget from a defensive to an offensive gadget. Explosive Mine You can double the damage output by putting two mines instead of one. SA-1216 Instead of pumping the shotgun after every four shots, give a melee hit. Not only does it considerably shorten the time loss between every four shots, but it can also add additional DPS if you hit a player with the melee attack. Breach Charge The Breach Charge cannot be stuck on players. They will simply go through them. Gas Grenade The damage radius of the gas grenade is 4 meters. Anywhere in these 4 meters, the potency of the gas is the same. The only way to increase damage is with time. The longer the enemy player stays in the gas, the higher the damage per second. XP-54 Same as the SH-1900, you can cancel the reload animation on this gun. M-11 from 15 meters and above, the damage output of the gun is practically divided by 2. Before the 15 meter mark, the damage is not impacted. MGL-32 Like the CL-40, this gun can be entirely nullified by an APS turret. 93R Use hip fire at close range to be able to strafe while shooting. This significantly boosts your survivability while turning the gun recoil around and using it as a damage output booster. Stun Gun Whatever jump, slide, or movement you do will not impact the accuracy of the stun gun. Pyro Mine Being hit by two pyro mines at once doubles the damage output per second. Sonar Grenade. There is no maximum distance. If you are caught in the sonar, wherever the thrower is on the map, he will be able to see you. Lewis Gun. The Lewis Gun is the most balanced weapon in the game in terms of damage, fire rate, range, accuracy, max size, and reload speed. Glitch Grenade. Glitch Grenades have just lost 50% of their effectiveness. The glitch effect has been reduced from 10 to 5 seconds. RPG Use your RPG and its explosive splash damage to bruise the enemy team and considerably bring their TTK down rather than to finish off a player. Pyro Grenade You can use the flame generated by the Pyro Grenade as a smokescreen. Players will not see you through the flames. Throwing Knives the maximum distance at which you can throw your daggers is 50 meters with the charge throw. Vanishing Bomb The Vanishing Bomb can be used as a decoy to make the enemy think you were at one specific place and make him look in the wrong direction. SR-84 You cannot shoot and hit more than one target per bullet fired. 
LH-1. The LH-1 is one of the only guns in the finals with a x2 damage multiplier. This is to compensate for the strong increased recoil if you are moving or in the air. Defibrillator. Both defibrillator skins have a distinct action to signify that the charge is ready. With the basic skin, a ping is heard. With the electric wire, a spark appears at the end of the cables. Barricades. Barricades are unbelievably OP. If comboed with an APS turret, the only way to consistently breach them is with a charge and slam. Smoke grenade. The smoke grenades can stop fire, similar to how fire is able to stop gas. Glitch trap. Getting hit by two glitch traps at once doesn't double the effect. C4. You can avoid waiting for C4 to be active to explode by placing it in fire. V9S. The V9S has no shot cooldown. The faster you can press the trigger repeatedly, the lower the time to kill. KS23. You can break a wall with only three shots of the KS23. There you have it. I hope you had time to ingest every tip we put on the list today. If not, don't hesitate to go back, pause, and write them all down so you never forget them and become the most knowledgeable player out there. If you feel like we missed something or have a different view on any of them, please do let me know. I always appreciate and listen to every single comment. If you did enjoy the video, consider joining the crew by subscribing to the channel. After that, all that remains to be said is that I will see you on the next one.